I'm Kendall Montgomery and this is Ultimate Concealed Carry News. Each week we assemble the top stories from network news, online news outlets, and videos relevant to you, bringing you your weekly gun news all in one place. On this week's show, California Governor Jerry Brown vetoed recent gun control bills, including the ban on semi-automatic rifles. Former Arizona Congressman Gabrielle Giffords visited a gun show in New York, advocating for all gun shows to require background checks. And new smart gun technology may soon be required by all gun owners in New Jersey. Our top story. California Governor Jerry Brown has signed 11 firearms measures into law and vetoed seven gun-related bills, including perhaps the most heated of them all, SB 374, which would have banned the sale of semi-automatic rifles with detachable magazines and would have imposed the nation's toughest gun ownership restrictions on Californians. Governor Brown said California already has some of the strictest gun and ammunition laws and wrote in his veto message, I don't believe that this bill's blanket ban on semi-automatic rifles would reduce criminal activity or enhance public safety enough to warrant this infringement on gun owners' rights. Fox 5 reporter Jamie Chambers follows up with California gun owners and retailers and how they view the veto as a major victory. The new California gun control bills passed by a super democratic majority had gun owners deeply concerned about their future weapons purchase. But the governor's surprise vetoes have many gun owners ecstatic. It's like, yeah, because I really wasn't sure if he'd do it. I think he did the right thing and, and used common sense and realized that we have some of the strictest gun laws in the country already in place. Brown did sign 11 gun control bills into law, including a ban on lead bullets for hunting and making it a misdemeanor to store a gun where a child could access it. A lot of the laws are actually not too bad, you know. But experts say the most stringent bills were cut down to keep business rolling as normal. A large majority of our sales are, are those types of, of firearms. Governor Brown did approve 11 other gun-related bills, including a measure making California the first state to impose a statewide ban on lead bullets for all types of hunting. For a full list of the gun control bills the governor signed and vetoed, click here. Former Arizona Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords attended her first gun show since surviving the 2011 shooting. She visited the Saratoga Springs Arms Fair with her husband, Mark Kelly, and New York Attorney General Eric Schneiderman to highlight a voluntary agreement that closely monitors gun show sales in New York and advocate for the same agreements in other states. According to the New York Daily News, under the New York State Agreement, gun show operators must post signs informing buyers that an instant background check must be completed before a firearm can be bought, tag all guns brought into the show, limit the number of entrance and exit doors so weapons can't be snuck in or out, and inform law enforcement in advance so local cops can patrol parking lots to deter illegal sales. Now is the time to come together, be responsible, Democrats, Republicans, everyone. We must better start fighting. Fight, fight, fight. Be bold, be courageous. The nation is counting on you. Thank you. <laughs> Gabrielle and her husband Mark Kelly claimed to be strong Second Amendment supporters who were simply trying to reduce gun violence. German-based company Armatix has recently announced its smart gun system capable of determining whether it is being held by its owner could hit the market within 45 days. And because of a 2003 law, New Jersey could be the first state in the nation to adopt smart gun technology requiring all firearms to be smart guns. The state's biometric gun law, signed by former Governor James McGreevy, requires all guns sold in the state to be equipped with biometric technology that allows only their owners to fire them. But the law has remained unenforceable because until now, no such guns have existed. Christine Romans of CNN explains Armatix's smart system that could be made available any day now. Armatix, a German company, takes a different approach. Its guns are activated by a watch and a unique pin number. It says it's good. You're not ready to shoot, ready to fire. Ready only if you're wearing the watch. If at any point an unauthorized user takes the gun and I try to shoot, it will not fire. You will not find the gun industry pushing for this technology. The National Shooting Sports Foundation says the technology is not reliable enough yet and potentially makes guns more dangerous. It can actually encourage people to leave loaded firearms accessible, relying upon the technology, which uh, can fail at the most inopportune time. These entrepreneurs say smart guns would prevent more headlines like these. 
personalized handguns and personalized technology will save the lives of many people and children. New Jersey Assemblyman Michael Patrick Carroll, who has championed gun rights bills in one of the most gun regulation heavy states, took aim at manufacturer Armatix's claims. Now this gun apparently will work 90% of the time when it's in conjunction with this watch. <laughs> you know what else it has? Apparently there's a sensor on it. It only goes off when it's fired toward a target. Well, you see, when I'm talking about targets, I'm talking about someone who's about to rape my wife. And I want to make sure that the gun goes off when I'm out firing at that particular target. There never seems to be a cop around when a woman is getting raped. Uh, that firearm is, or could be, the difference between in, in saving her life. So, will these smart guns be effective in curbing accidental shootings? Or is it too much of a risk to take in case the gun won't fire when you need it most? Be a part of the debate. Post your thoughts on the matter or click here. I'm Kendall Montgomery. Thank you for watching and see you next week. Stay connected, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.